fits on there. Ooh, your camera. I'm gonna try and vlog as much as I can. hard covers and dust jackets it's so annoying um, but this book is only out in this form so I had to read it like this this book was gifted to me for Christmas from my stepdad and it was rated on Goodreads as the best fiction book of 2022 so I am currently reading it and I am I am like 30 pages from being done and I still don't exactly know what I think about it I am so mixed on this book it is crazy I think I went into it like enjoying it but then as it went on, I was like, oh, I don't know. And then like this big thing happens, which I can't say because it's a spoiler, but it actually sort of shocked me. I didn't expect the book to do what it did. So I don't know if I respect the book for that or if it's the other side where I'm just so de-invested at this point. It's like, don't be doing too much right now. I don't have enough energy to care. I picked the wrong character to like in this book. <laughs> if anyone's read it, you know what I mean. And then I'm also reading... The Three Musketeers by Alexandra Dumas. And this book, I'm on page 270 still. Um, I haven't really picked this up because I've been running tomorrow, tomorrow, and tomorrow, focusing on that book. Um, but once that book is done, I'll be returning to this book. I really like Danton Yar, the main character. <laughs> I think he's really funny. I like his name, Danton Yar. Afos, Porfos, and Aramis as well. The Three Musketeers are great. I really like them as well, yeah. But this book has actually got quite a lot of like politics involved I guess like drama which I wasn't expecting I thought it would just be all action but there's been a lot of like politics to set up the conflict so I sort of got through that now and I think now I'm heading really into that 
action of it all hopefully so we'll see how the rest of this book goes but I'm enjoying it so far early days and then the other book I'm currently in the middle of is um all the young dudes Miss King Bean or something 83 I can't exactly remember her name but this is a Harry Potter fan fiction so unless you're a big Harry Potter fan you will not be <laughs> interested probably in this book um but I'm reading this currently I am nearly finished with book one and I am counting these as part of my reading because they take up a lot of time. These are long books. Like this first book is like a 40 hour audiobook. No, not 40, but 30 to 40 hours audiobook, I think. I'm going a little crazy from this one, but in a good way. Um, <laughs> and I probably won't give it a high rating just because it is a fan fiction. And also the main reason I'm reading it is for Wolfstar. If anyone knows what that means, you know. It's very easy reading. Um, just long. So yeah, I have a very ambitious reading goal of 54 books for this year. I don't think I've read 54 books in a year before. I've hit 50 before, but not 54. So I like reading. I need to force myself to do it more because it puts me in a good mood and I need to be put in better moods. <laughs> so I'm just like 54 books. Lots of good moods for this year. 2023 reading. It's currently Jan 10th. I went on a camp trip for the first week of this month, for the first week of January um, 2023, and it was very fun. I enjoyed myself a lot. I am so tan now. You can't really see it. I still look really white on this camera, <laughs> but um, I'm telling you I'm tan. I did a lot of swimming and like beach and pool stuff on the weekend because it's nice and hot here in Australia. Finally, it is proper summer weather. Um, I've got a couple weeks of just like working, posting YouTube videos. I want to post reaction videos every week. That takes a bit of time. I also cut my hand open camping and one of my fingers is still a bit numb. Not numb, but it has pins and needles and it's been like a week. <laughs> you know that feeling of when you should go to see a doctor, but you don't? <laughs> That's me this week. I'm just like, just go away. Just <laughs> go away. I don't want to see a doctor. Just fix yourself, please. <laughs> Wanted to talk about a range of different topics right now. First, the movies I've recently watched. I watched Puss in Boots, The Last Wish last night. It was actually pretty good. Um, 3.5 out of 5 stars. Don't, I'm not as high on it as everybody else is around me, but I do think it's a really good step in the right direction. And I'm hoping to God for a Shrek movie next. Like, please, if a new Shrek movie comes out and it's actually relatively good, I will be so happy because Shrek is one of my favorite movies ever like Shrek was the first movie I ever saw in cinemas it's a 10 out of 10 my favorite kids movie yeah it's just the best so it is nice I'm not a huge Puss in Boots fan though but the fact that I could like a Puss in Boots movie shows how good it is so yeah and the wolf in it um he's one of the antagonists in the movie he is so good in this movie like incredibly good I've never been so drawn towards a baddie in an animation movie since Hoodwinked, I think. Also a wolf, by the way. I don't know what it is with me and wolves, but yeah. Another movie I also recently watched was Megan, which pretty good as well. I think I gave this a three out of five. This is like a comedy horror, so you're not meant to take it seriously. It's very ironic. 
um, and just making fun of itself a lot of the time. And if you just like want a good time and you like horror and you're down like for a few laughs, this movie's like very entertaining, I think. I also saw another horror, I saw Smile um, a few months ago as well, which I really liked. Smile was actually scary. Um, <laughs> I was actually scared. <laughs> so yeah, four out of five. I watched the new documentary, This Place Rules, um, by Andrew Conahan. Well, I can't say his name, but Callahan, but he's like the Channel 5 guy. Um, it's a new documentary about the events leading up to January the 6th. I thought it was decent, but like, I figured two and a half is good because it's just middle of the road. I enjoyed some parts of it. I didn't enjoy other parts. I'm a big Channel 5 fan. I watch all the videos. Um, I love Andrew, yeah. So really happy to support this new venture. So what else have I, I watched Good Time, you know that, and I liked that one a lot. I think I gave it a four out of five. And I also rewatched Whiplash two days ago with some friends. <laughs> I love Whiplash. Whiplash is a solid 4.5 out of five, like nearly a five. Oh, Whiplash is so good. And La La Land as well. I, uh, yeah, I really like Damien Chazelle, I think his name. Yep. Yeah. Really, really good director. I'm not excited for Babylon though, because apparently it sucks. So yeah. That's all the movies I've been watching recently. And then, um, I've also recently got a comp bruh. I also recently got a computer. You can see the monitor there. Yeah, I've started playing video games recently as well. Um, so I've been playing COD Modern Warfare 2 a lot because that's what my friends play. We play like um, multiplayer, like as a squad, like a quad, I think it is, like four player. So I've been playing that for like hours a day um, and really enjoying it. I used to game a lot as a kid. I did put up a video like ages ago of the video games that like made my childhood, um, that shaped my childhood. Link that up in the top corner. And I played a little bit of shooters in my mid-teens as well. I went for a bit of a phase. But apart from that, like I haven't played many video games as a adult, I would say. Um, this is the first time I really dive into video games as an adult, but it does come back to me quick, I would say, just because like I did play video games a lot as a kid. Um, so yeah, I've been playing Modern Warfare 2, which um, really fun. I'm actually really enjoying it. I love the like co-op, like sort of part of it. Um, I think that's the main draw for me that I can play with my friends um, and just skill up and get better at it. It's like actually a game where you just learn to get better. Um, and the learning curve is steep and long, but I'm enjoying it. And I feel like I'm slowly getting a little bit better with every single day, which is good. But yeah, I'm enjoying COD a lot, um, which is a weird thing to say because I never was interested really in Call of Duty, um, but here we are. Also been playing Fall Guys, which like, you know, everyone plays Fall Guys, but um, I'm not entirely sold on this game. I think it's good to have just because like everyone can play it. Like it's so easy to play, really like quick download. So, you know, everybody's like, oh, I can play Fall Guys. So we just jump on Fall Guys. But yeah, I wouldn't say this game is like a favorite of mine at all. <laughs> it really is infuriating if anything. Sort of hate it but I will keep playing it. And then the other game I've also been playing um, that I just started a couple days ago is Stardew Valley. Um, I, try, I tried to play Animal Crossing like six months ago um, and I really got into it a little bit, but I never had my own Switch. I was playing on my friend's Switch, so I never could really continue Animal Crossing, but I now finally have an Animal Crossing-esque game, which is Stardew Valley, that is on my PC and I can just play it as much as I want and it's the best so I can just really get invested in this world because I did used to play a lot of games like Stardew Valley in the sense of like a story and it's like a world in which you build upon your inventory and you like cultivate something um like I used to play Dino Dash a lot and like build up my restaurant and I love doing that I also used to play theme park a lot on DS which is building your own theme park and then Stardew Valley is like building a farm graphics are the main drawer of this game um the music's really nice and I just listen to an audiobook while I play which is really it's a very chill vibe um I also really like the Zelda moment that happens in the cave like you go down there and you actually like still sort of kill some baddies which I didn't expect from this game but it's a nice little extra dynamic to it I think that's all the games I've been playing recently. Like, I got my PC, like, a bit over a week ago, so it's this, you know, it's the early days. Um, and then apart from that, my reading. In 2023, I've read three books so far, and it's the 24th of January. I think I'm on track, yeah. I read Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow, and I gave it a 2.5 out of 5 stars. <sighs> yeah, this book was, like, really underwhelming. I just didn't care for the characters at all. Um, the only part I liked about it was the video game part of it. 
you know, because that's what a lot of the plot revolves around. And I'm obviously really getting into gaming. But the actual characters, I just didn't care for. I don't know what it was, but I just couldn't come to love them. Even when there's like this big moment with the characters, everyone will know what I'm talking about if you've read the book. The big moment that's really meant to like pull your heartstrings. Like I got a little sad, but not really. I try to read hyped books every now and again, and I was hoping this book would be different because it's adult fiction. But no, just hyped books in general, not my thing. I don't usually gravitate towards hyped adult books even. Like usually I will definitely stay away from the YA hyped stuff, but now it's the adult hyped stuff that I've also got to stay away from. So yeah, not really feeling this book. The cover's beautiful though. <laughs> and then I've also read two fan fictions as well since the start of January. I've read All the Young Dudes, which is like the most famous Harry Potter fan fiction of all time. I've read book one and two because I'm reading it in the way where it's split up into three books because this actual book completely as it is, is a mammoth. It's like 500,000 words. It's like double the length of Moby Dick. So yeah, I cannot read this whole book in one sitting or like just all at once. So I read the first book and I really enjoyed it. Um, it's just following the Marauders. So James, Remus, Sirius and Peter in their Hogwarts years. So the first book follows the first four years, one to four. And I really enjoyed it actually. Um, I gave it a 3.5 out of five stars. I thought it was very cute, very nostalgic. It really just ticked all the boxes. Um, and then I read book two and I was really excited because there's this um, romance between two characters that I was really keen for. But then I don't know what it was. Once it actually started happening, I was like, uh, uh, uh. it didn't feel I don't know what to say because so many people love this fan fiction, but it just didn't connect for me. It felt a little too melodramatic. It felt a little too high school. I know they're in high school, but I don't know. It just felt like a soap opera sometimes. Like, what is going on? Like, I don't need to read like the Half-Blood Prince movie, all the romance drama dialed up to 100. Like, I don't need that right now. So... I don't know. I just, I wanted like a bit more depth. I just got a bunch of drama, which was just trying to cover up the fact that there's not that much depth. And that's it. That's all I want to say. Just like the romance sort of let me down, unfortunately. Maybe it's the hype once again for me, but yeah. Read the second book, like a two out of five. And I don't think I'll be reading the third book because apparently it gets really sad. Obviously it will get sad because it's all canon. Like the death of James and Lily will happen. So I don't really want to deal with that when I don't even really enjoy the good parts of this book anyway. So yeah, I'm going to leave it there. I'm also buddy reading Aragon with one of my friends and I'm not enjoying it very much. So I'm not going to talk about this. <sighs> Honestly, my reading has been so bad this year, which makes me want to film videos less. I definitely get more into filming videos when I'm reading good books, but like, why would I want to capture me reading a bunch of books that I don't even enjoy? So this is another book that probably will be like a two out of five, unfortunately. I really wanted to enjoy this as well, but there's too much blabbering and exposition, not enough doing for me here. Ugh, yeah, it's fine. On page 268, so I'm over halfway. I feel like I can say that I'm not going to enjoy this very confidently now, but I'm going to finish it. I won't be showing it to you though. There's no point. I'm not going to enjoy the book overall. <laughs> it's not going to come back. On the other hand, my music's been great. So I've gotten one new record, which is David Bowie, um, Z The Rise and Fall of Ziggy Stardust, and The Spiders from Mars. This is from my dad. He got it for me for Christmas, um, and I'm really excited to own it. I've already listened to it over on my Reactions channel. Um, if it's not up yet, it will be up soon, so if you want to check that out, you can. But yeah, very happy to own this. I got it for 35 bucks, which isn't too bad. Um, like, my dad paid for it, but yeah, it was 35 bucks because we went shopping together to find something. This album was a pleasant surprise. I had never listened to it before. I haven't listened to much David Bowie albums in the past, but yeah, I overall really enjoyed this. There were a few songs that were very touching for me actually had very big moments towards the end of these songs and like had this like yeah big loud emotional moment and I think that David Bowie's songwriting is like superb so yeah I really enjoyed that record when I listened to it um, but that's the only new record that I've recently gotten and then I just wanted to quickly touch upon the fact that I've listened to so many new records not new records but records that have been in my collection for like so long that I've never listened to and I finally got around to them because of my reactions channel. Obviously I listened to this very quickly after getting it because I had never listened to it before and then I also listened to Gang of Four finally and this is one of my favorite records out of this whole bunch, probably my favorite, that I listened to. Um, this is post-punk 
my favorite genre for a reason. So yeah, this is from my auntie from so long ago. I've probably had this record for nearly 10 years and I finally listened to it. So if you want to check that out, you can as well. This is not meant to be um, like a go check out my reactions channel. Like there's enough people that watch those videos. It stresses me out. But I just want to talk about them quickly on this channel because I have mentioned these records so much and the fact that I never listened to them. So yeah, I love this record now. It's the best. Damaged Goods is such a great song. Um, I also listened to Dummy, finally, by Portishead. I really love this album, too. A bit of trip-hop, you know? So trip-hop is also one of my favorite genres, I would say. I really love electronic music in general. And Beth Gibbons is great. She's the um, main singer on that record. I also listened to the debut self-titled from Iron Maiden. And this album was also really good. I didn't enjoy it as much of as the other three, but I also really liked it, I would say. Transylvania is a great instrumental track that I love so much now. I really enjoy Paul, like the main singer. He's only on the first two albums by Iron Maiden, I think. I'm excited to listen to Killers very soon, um, which is the other record that Paul Diano sings on by Iron Maiden. And then I also listened to Deep Purple in Rock. Yes, this album is great too. I love um, Speed King. Yes, you gotta know what I mean. Speed King is my favorite track off this record and I wanna listen to Machine Gun, not Machine Gun. <laughs> I've been playing too much COD. Machine Head soon. Um, and then the other record that I recently listened to is Junkyard by Birthday Party. Um, <laughs> interesting one here. I listened to this like loud for my headphones when I reacted to it and it was the best thing ever. Um, but the production on this thing is so bad. So like if you're not listening to it loud, it sort of sounds horrible. So it's one of those records. When I was editing the video back, oh my gosh, the music sounded so bad because it was sort of turned down as I was reacting to it. I was like, I just need to turn this music up. But then I couldn't because you can't hear me talking over it. So yeah, but this album is best listened to loud. I'll tell you that. Blast off which weirdly is not actually on the big 12 inch LP here. It's only on this little seven inch um, and the seven inch, oh God, it's already getting a little battered. This seven inch has Blast Off on it and also Release the Bats. Release the Bats is like the big song on this album, but yeah, Blast Off for some reason, only on the little seven inch. And that's my favorite song on the album. Those are all the records that I recently listened to in my record collection or recently acquired. Yeah, and I think I've gone around to everything now, haven't I? I think I've touched upon everything. Um, yeah, I went camping, which was really fun, and I'm going to Queensland with a few of my friends in a couple days. I'm gonna end this video here. I'm honestly really not feeling the filming right now. I know I filmed and edited so much stuff, like in December, I would say. Like, I was putting out a video, like two, t maybe two videos a week, um, very regularly but I've just really dropped off. I'm so moody. I honestly am so moody. Like even getting myself to film this video, right? Like to film this little outro thing, just wrapping everything up has been so hard. I filmed all the stuff from camping. I filmed a little few things in between and now I'm just filming this and then yeah, just gonna send it off. This is not how I exactly wanted this video to go, but I'm just gonna try and be a bit more compassionate towards myself and not be so critical in the sense of, oh, every video has to be exactly how I imagine it or I can't post it and everyone's gonna hate it. Like I just need to like film what I want to, film what I can and then post it or I'm gonna start having a really bad relationship with my videos and my filming again because I am too hard on myself. So yeah, I'm just trying to be nice to myself. This is all I'm gonna do. I'll post this, see how I go. Hopefully I feel good once I edit this video together and then I'll feel confident and more motivated to film for my next video. Um, and I'm just gonna see how I go, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video, even though it was a little bit of a weird one. Um, but I'm just gonna like, yeah, maybe post videos more like this where it's like a huge mix of all the different stuff in my life, actually. I think those videos are what I enjoy the most. So maybe I'll just continue doing that, honestly. Honestly, a little stressed right now. I'm moving out of my apartment soon in another month. I hate moving. I move way too much. Um, and I'm moving interstate in a couple months time. So that's really stressful and a big change. And I'm starting a new degree. Um, yeah, so it's a lot, but I hope I can continue regularly filming. But if I don't, you know what's going on. I'm busy. I'm always, I'm stressed. So yeah, I'm always stressed. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you see a bit of my Queensland trip in the next video. If you don't, I enjoyed myself. I'm going to Movie World, which is like this really big theme park in Queensland on the Gold Coast. And I am so excited because I love 
theme parks. I love thrill rides. They're my favorite. So I'm very excited. I'll see you in a bit and I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.